I was taking the ashes out and I set the bucket on the back porch and uh, sometime this morning I got up and the smoke was in the house and um, and the whole house was on fire. Were you considering sending your gold to a perfect stranger in the mail and having to wait weeks for a check or even setting foot into a random shop? Don't do it. Don't accept $50 if your gold is worth $500. Come see the Treasure Hunter in downtown Elizabeth City across from Muddy's Coffee Shop for a professional and fair appraisal of your gold, sterling silver, coins, and antiques. Come see the Treasure Hunter now while gold and silver are at all-time highs and leave with immediate cash. There was no chance that Jason Long could escape notice by one coach at JMU. His mother and my wife were roommates in college. Uh, his dad and myself were sweet mates in college, so yeah, there's a pretty long history there. Uh, the first time I met Jason, he was crawling on the floor. <laughs> in fact, Jason's Madison connections extended even further back to his grandmother, Nellie, a longtime member of the Board of Visitors. And after Jason became a consistent winner on the track team at Central High School in Woodstock, where he often won races by wide margins, JMU coaches Walton and Patrick Henner couldn't help but notice. So the question became, how good could he become? And uh, once, once he got here, we realized he had some uh, jets and could do something. And he did. In 1998, Long was part of JMU's first All-America Relay Team, running the first leg on a distance medley team that ranks second all-time in JMU history. That team went on to take eighth at the NCAA Indoor Championships. Long took second place in the 800 meter at the Duke Invitational to meet IC4A qualification and finish the season with all CAA and all East honors. Jason helped elevate everybody and, and that's one of the things we had talked about. It's one thing to make yourself better, but the next step is how can you make those around you even better? And Jason certainly had that influence and, and uh, people responded well to it. In 1999, Long earned his second consecutive distance medley relay All-America honor, as well as all CAA and all East cross country honors. On the track, he set the JMU and previous Eastern Collegiate 1000 meter record, and again earned All-America honors in the outdoor 1500 meter, and finished in sixth place in the NCAA championships. Long earned another All East honor in the 1500, with a third place finish at the IC4A meet after winning the CAA championship with a meet record that still stands today. He also set the JMU Outdoor 800 meter record. But beyond his athletic talent, it was Jason's mental approach that inspired others. That was during the, the golden era and we were at a national level and week in, week out, we were facing the top competition all around the country. So the ability to be resilient and bounce back from a, a, a bad race or ha from poor workouts was, was very important. Uh, the mental aspect is, aspect is huge. Jason was pretty, pretty well balanced and grounded uh, with a great family like that and the support around him. Uh, it, it, it helped transition the whole thing. Uh, it, his nickname was Doc because he was electrifying when he stepped on the track. Everybody was waiting for him to operate. So uh, the, the whole balance throughout his whole life, his great sense of humor, how his resiliency, his great work ethic, uh, all kind of melded together into making him what he became. And what he became was a five-time All-American and five-time All-East athlete. Long captured individual CAA titles in the 1500 meter run in 1999 and 800 meter race in 2001. And he competed in the 2000 Olympic trials in the 800. As a professional, he broke four minutes in the mile. And in 2010, Long was named to the CAA Silver Anniversary Men's Track and Field Team. 
Also an accomplished pilot, mechanic, and flight instructor, Long maintained his ties to JMU after graduation until his untimely death last December at the age of 32 in a tragic airplane crash. His athletic accomplishments, legacy of leadership, and friendship have left an indelible mark on the purple and gold. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the James Madison University Athletics Hall of Fame is Jason Long. Accepting the award is his father. Please welcome Jim Long.